shop. Hope you're having a great day. All right, I gave my lungs a rest for three or four days, and uh, yeah, man, it's time to get back on these bad boys. I'll put the last video up here in the card. If you go check it out, I have like black stuff all over my face. That's not from the steel. That's from all my tattoo practice. You know, every day I'm practicing on fake skins and stuff, and my hands are always covered, and I seem to wipe my face. And uh, yeah, if you look, my hands are covered in black, and my nose is all covered in black in the last video. But yeah, man, I've been really getting into tattooing, and I didn't do any on my legs because I was sick last week, but I've already got this week's uh, design picked out. I just gotta keep going until I run out of room on my legs, and then uh, maybe I'll black this out. That's that's why I wanted to start. I want to black all this out. I don't know about getting back here though. That should be kind of hard, but this was done from like 1987 with a whole bunch of people I didn't know what they were doing, and it just kept getting bigger and bigger. So <laughs> I'm rambling enough. Uh, let's just get to the grinder. I'm gonna try to make uh, the bushcraft one. I'm gonna try to shape it all on the vertical because I know a lot of people don't have horizontal. And then I'm gonna move over and do the other ones like I regularly do. I'm not guaranteeing anything, because I haven't done it in a long time, but uh, let's see if we can get these shaped just on the one grinder. Now I am gonna use small wheels, but uh, we'll see. Maybe I don't need to on this, actually. We'll see, because yeah, these have the piece up here where you need a small wheel. This one might not even need it. I'm rambling. Let's get to it, man. It feels good to be back. I'm excited. Can you tell? Now, if you're new to my channel, you you don't know, but I use one, two, three blocks for everything. If you're watching the last video, I used them for drilling. This is all you need to set up a tool rest. If your tool rest pivots back and forth, you want it square. You know, these are all square. See, boom, we're good to go. Get one, two, three blocks. Buy, every, buy one or two every month until you have them everywhere. If you look at my shop, they're on every tool. But all right, so, uh, you know, I said we can't do this. I'm gonna see if we can try this and see if we can get in here, you know, and then I'll show you what to do after. Now, little spaces like this, what I do is I hang my belt over so there's flexibility in there. I'm just gonna start this one here and then get here, and then we'll see where we get. You'll see. All right, let's get it. Now the only problem is you got grind lines going like this. You want to smooth them out. You know, you want a small wheel attachment and I'll show you next what you do. I'll explain it as I go. Now, as I'm going, I'm putting this in my hand. I'd usually do this on the horizontal, but since I got it started, I might as well do it here. Woo, that's a big knife. <laughs> you know, so I got my one finger here, my here, finger here. I drew this a little bit more. I want my finger to come back and hold it right in there. Another thing, I put this on a neodymium magnet. This is just a big plate. I got one that I can switch out for my wheel. I can switch them out for anything. See, these are just neodymium magnets. You can buy them at Home Depot, I think. 
I got four on here. And you just, bam, that thing ain't going nowhere. You can slide it up, slide it in, slide it out, do whatever you want to do with it. Let's do it. I'm just going to do these bevels cross haired on these. And then uh, I'll, I'll set it up, show you that, and do the spine of the one, and then move to the horizontal grinder. It's not ideal, but it works. So we're just going to do the spines here. And then, uh, yeah, I'll show you with the small wheel too. I'm going to try to get it as good as possible. I'm not doing here because uh, I want all my grind lines going across. That way when I strike my line, I have the cross pattern. It's just something that I do. You might not even like it. Next is the small wheel. And then uh, I'm going back to the horizontal and finishing up everything else. I don't know which camera to talk to. <laughs> I'm looking at this one, but it's probably more in sight with here. <laughs> Hopefully I can figure it out. All right, now I usually use this plate, you know, on there for the small wheel, but man, it's all on, a, on the big contraption for the horizontal. And I don't feel like messing with it, so we'll just do it like this. Remember, you can always cut different plates for whatever wheel you need. I probably already said that, but uh, if I did, I'll cut it out so it sounds like the first time. <laughs> Let's get to it. I take that back. <laughs> this is a pain in the butt. See, even I'm teaching myself. Been so long since I've done it like that. See that way we just move it into place. Boom. And now we have support back here too. That was the problem with the other one. It kept sliding up under, so. Look, I even had to set up a different camera over here instead of over where it usually is. So uh, I'm going to the horizontal. You get the idea. It takes a lot longer than on the horizontal, but it works. So yeah, now we're just gonna smooth it out, get it here. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna get all the spines on these and just finish everything up. So I'm probably not gonna talk. You'll probably just see this and then the small wheel and then uh, hopefully bevels.
time to mark out these bad ones, but I want to say something first. I got all these blades down here because I did it for Instagram and TikTok. Bevels, important part of bevels. Man, I see everyone mark their bevels like here and then grind full flats. Don't mark a bevel there and then grind the full flat. Find discipline. Don't learn bad habits. I haven't hand sanded blades in years. You know, I know everyone likes to say, oh, I love doing full flats, but that's complete bullshit. I know right now, if I said, hey, you can do full flats or you can do bevels like this, or controlled bevels, I should say, not bevels like mine. Which would you prefer? There might be 2% that says I love full flats. You're gonna do full flats? Control it up here. Look at Steve Miller knives. That dude does control full flats. All right, anyway. Yeah, so we gotta go to a surface plate. What you need is like a piece of marble, a surface plate, they make these, all that stuff, just for knife making. Yeah, that's usually where my camera's set up, so I had to switch everything out. That's why I'm talking from here. But uh, you need to dike them. Dike them everything up. Get them all smoothed out like that. I'll show you. All I do is I take the dike them, go once on the bottom, then if, you know, whatever the sides come out, you know, just blot it, dip it, whatever you gotta do. Then you hang it up. You've never seen my videos before, I use like, titanium rods so I can dip in ferric and all that, but just hang them up somewhere. And that's why I got the other one, so I can show you what we do next with, while this one's drying. Now height gauge, stuff like that, that's down in my Amazon links. I think I bought the cheapest one. Now I don't measure things out. You know, I know some people be like, oh, you have to be this high or that high or this far apart. What I do, here's the tip of the knife. Right here. I see where I want it. Then I'll flip it over. Now I already did another knife, so I'm kind of cheating. But if I didn't like that, I would move it up or down. You know, I put it like that and I'd move it up and keep going until I found where I liked it. And then you describe it. And now the other one should be dry. Oh, I got a crooked ass line, look at that. Look what y'all made me do. There we go. <laughs> of course I do that on camera, right? All right, now we just go and grind bevels. Oh, no, no we don't. Here's the next thing, calipers. These don't even have batteries or anything. Mark them where you want them. That's a little too high for that, so I'll put it down a little bit. Just go by eye. Boom. Boom. Now you have a guide exactly where you want your bevels to be. All right, the other one's dried up. I'll do that and I'll meet you at the grinder. Ah, oh, this is a good belt. Let me get this belt off. You want to use an old belt as fat as you got. I got this 36 laying around. I think I've actually used it a few times just to break 90s and start bevel since it's soft steel. Cause I can see I've used it before, but uh, I don't like using 36s for bevels. They're kind of too, uh, too rough. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna do a hollow grind on this. And uh, this is my regular compound grind shape. So we're compound grinding that. But breaking the 90s, you know, you just want to come down to your line. Just, it doesn't really matter the angle. You're just getting the 90s down so when you start your bevels. No, you don't have to. I guess it's something that I was always taught or watched people do, so I just did it. So uh, whatever angle, right down to your line. I just remember why we break the 90s. So when you're doing your bevels, you don't blow over your line, duh. You know, it gives you a guide as you're you're grinding your bevels down, you look up and you can see, you know, it gives you a little room. <laughs> Man, it's been so long since I did a tutorial, I forgot myself.
I put the sharpening notches in off camera. Uh, if that, that back to basics, like if you watched the last video, I talked about the back to basics. I show how I set up a trim router with a carbide bit to do this if I didn't have a mill. But I have a mill and most people watching tutorials don't have a mill. So go watch that back to basics. It'll show you how to put sharpening notches in and, and jimping all that. You just get carbide bits and uh, use a trim router and set up like a table. And, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> So we have our knife here. We're getting ready to grind our bevels. A lot of times I'll grind my deals like this. Like this, and the grind lines are going up and down. Now that's the one trick to grinding bevels. Let me put this back. It doesn't matter if you're grinding your bevels because you want your grind lines to come up and down. You know, look different or, you know, if you want them straight. The grind lines are going to be there. But the thing is, However you want them to look on this side, look at them from this side. So, okay, say I want my grind lines like that, you know, come in. Let's break out the pen and get bad boy on this. Let's say we want our grind lines coming straight up like this on this side. Well, if you look at them from this side, that's how they're going to come up on the other side. However you want your grind line, see? I want my grind lines to be straight up and down here. So that straight up and down is gonna be straight up and down with the belt. It's gonna put them on the back. That makes sense. Probably not, but that's all right. Basically, however you want your grind lines to look, look at them straight up and down here. Don't look at the horizon of the knife. You know, you wanna have them straight, you know, you want to bam like that, look at the knife like this and visualize it with the belt. Because the belt's not going to move. you got to move your hand how you want the grind lines. Next tip. Now this is the big tip. If you follow me on Instagram or TikTok or any of that stuff, this one's important. I see everyone complaining about hand sanding. I hate hand sanding. Hand sanding sucks, blah, blah, blah. Well, stop hand sanding them. You're using it as a crutch. You know, if you want to hand sand because you like to look, that's fine. But you can do everything up to a mirror off the belt and don't even have to use, you know, polish it up on the buffer and you have a mirror. Whoops. Yeah, that was funny. Hey, look, I've got the screwdriver in my bucket. <laughs> Whatever, is there anything else in there? Anyway, so what you want to do, trick is, here's your line where you want your bevel to stop. Boom. Do not move your fingers below that line. Keep your fingers right on that line and just come down slowly. Let the belt work. The belt is doing the work, not your fingers. If you pull it down, you're going to blow past and then you're going to have to hand sand. Learn control. You know, teach yourself you know, if you mess up, throw the knife away. You know, don't treat, man, I used to do that, drive myself crazy trying to save it, making it thinner, you know, grinding the flats down. That's what you should do first. Grind the flats down and uh, make it a thinner knife, but, you know, let's be realistic. You're gonna keep doing it. So practice on mild steel, anything you got. Yeah, don't move your fingers off that line and just slowly pull down. I might even have problems because I haven't done a flat grind with a belly like that in a long time. So it's going to take, you know, you just take it slow and adjust. As I say that, I'm going to mess it up. I almost forgot. I would keep your bevel in front of your sharpening notch or even if you're not using a sharpening notch and you're going to come to right here, stop here. That way after heat treat you have this much room to get used to the, your grind and uh, you know see what you're doing. Don't go right to where you want your grind line to be or where your plunge line to be. And if you want it to swoop in just hang the belt over about a quarter inch and it'll swoop it right on in. Now that's the trick to swooping plunges you just hang the belt over. Alright I had to take a few passes. Yeah, and as you're coming 
down this way. See, my thumb is still in front of that line. But you're gonna wanna pull out. You either pull like this, which I've never done, or you pull out and it brings that tip in. You kind of put pressure this way, right down to that line and pull out. Just take it slow. You know, you're no hurry. Cause I'll tell you what, if you're in a hurry, you're gonna mess up your knife and then you're gonna have to start all over again. So uh, why waste all that time when you can just take it slow and get it right? Words of wisdom, damn it. <laughs>